Hey, hi there Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I would like to thank you for tuning into those energies and influences that are coming through for your monthly predictive reading for December 2019. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Aquarius, off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. This is the situation. The Eight of Wands, Aquarius, fire energy. This is a busy, exciting, hopeful period. It's travel. It's communications. It's full of surprises and opportunities. It's movement, action. It's a sudden burst of energy. This is a rapid and swift development with a conclusion. This is, could even be air travel. It's things happening rapidly. It's positive things unfolding. It's the end of delay. It can be messages and letters of love. The change is on many levels. This can be an increased exchange of energy that makes many things easier and some things even possible. It's being in motion and things that are already set into motion. It's being in the flow. It's that need to be up and doing things, activities, new beginnings. It's a time for action to begin. Your second card, these are the energies that are crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The King of Wands, Aquarius, fire energy person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Fire could be in your chart as well as in someone's chart that you're dealing with. This is an influential and independent person and they help those that they care about and you can rely on their honesty and intelligence and their loyalty. They're fair-minded and they'll give you good advice. This can also refer to a situation which is exactly as it appears to be with no hint of deception. It can indicate good fortune coming your way even in the form of unexpected help or advice. It could be good news or a promotion or an inheritance or a settlement. This is passion for a project. This is someone that's loyal and noble. They're passionate. They're agile in mind and body. And sometimes they're too hasty and they get bored by the predictable. This is someone that dislikes details. They're impatient. They're charming and inspiring and they would rather lead than follow. He knows when to take action and how to create harmonious human, human relationships in the process. Your second card. No, let's see. Let's do the Eight of Wands with the King of Wands. This is energy and passion to get things done. And now here's your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are aware of. This can be your attitude. Number 20 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Judgment. This can be a Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is spiritual awakening. It's that aha moment. It's a rebirth and a release and review. It's new purpose and new plans. And now delays can be conquered by development of the spirit. It's an awakening and a renewal. It's legal judgments being in your favor. This is a change in the personal consciousness which is now on the verge of blending with the universal. It's coming to terms with yourself, a going down to rise up. It's a special moment in life. It's a change in life in an important way. It's rising up and seeking new possibilities. It's like you've been called. It's an awakening. It's a rebirth. It's a second chance and a second lease on life. You're being deeply inspired and uplifted, awakened, reborn, Summoned to a higher awareness. You have some big ideas. You're inspired. This is a new phase. It's rising above it all. It's awakening to your purpose. Experiencing a breakthrough. It's an end of an old way of life. A cycle that is finished. It's time to seek a new direction. And to make adjustments that reflect who you truly are. The Eight of Wands with the Judgment card. This is a swift action after delays. And now, your fourth card. 
It's the position of the future. It's the results. It's the outcome and the resolution. And being in the future position, sometimes this can be a surprise. The Queen of Pentacles, Aquarius, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. Earth can be in your chart as well as someone you could be dealing with. This is someone that's domestic and privileged. They're practical. They're capable and they're orderly. They're generous and they're benevolent. They respect money as a tool and they do not worship it. They want tangible results from the money they distribute or offer or borrow you. This is security. It can represent a mother, someone being nurturing, and it's harbor after much labor and prudent uses of resources. This is someone that's protective and nurturing and resourceful. They're down to earth. They're fertile and healthy. They're a homemaker or a housekeeper. They love gardens and growing things. Fertility is represented here, and this is someone that loves, loves animals. She's affectionate and caring, and they, she knows how to manage money. This is help given of a practical nature, has to do with material concerns, and she teaches us that what is cherished must be cared for. This is someone that puts a high value on stability. She's a part of us that revels in gardening and cooking and craft making, massaging, being massaged. They're all physical sensations that leave us feeling content and whole. She is our love of comfort and luxury, yet she will still be frugal about it. Could be that someone is not showing how they say or how they feel. It's taking some time to consider all the options before proceeding. Sometimes dependency upon routine can make this person fearful of change. The Eight of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles, this is a move towards a more nurturing environment. It's a fast development with money management. And now your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others yet. You are consciously aware of this. The Six of Swords, Aquarius. Air energy. This is your element. This is a move to a more pleasing environment. There's security and support. It's the calm after the storm. It's mental healing and transition and recovery. And it's a movement of any kind. It can represent someone's Mercury in Aquarius. They're smooth sailing and leaving your troubles behind. It could be a move or a journey. It's relief. It could be going on a short trip, even a spiritual journey. This is coasting along in a somber state. It's being open for how things develop and having patience. It's a moving away from difficulties. It's a release of tension and anxiety after a period of strain and confusion or something destructive. Could be a letting go of what was holding you back. It's a calming of emotions. This is a vacation card. It's the Eight of Wands with the Six of Swords. This is a trip. It can be spontaneous travel. And the King of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles, he wishes she would be more spontaneous and she wishes he would repair some more things around the home. She is frugal and he overspends and he might ask her for a loan. King of Wands with the Six of Swords, this is letting go of mental distress. It's passionate movement. The Judgment card with the Queen of Pentacles, this is someone down to earth. They are watchful, and they remember what you say. The Judgment card with the Six of Swords, this is a communicating to heal and move forward. It's cutting binding patterns. It's moving on with peace of mind. The Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Swords, this can be an emotional journey to, to better yourself. It's fertile improvement towards someone more nurturing and supportive. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Earth Magic by Stephen Farmer. Aquarius, you've got desert. It represents a vision quest. Desert. In this arid climate zone that we call desert, 
Images shift and change throughout the day, yet always maintain a sharp and defined presence. Those hardy species of flora and fauna that have found a home in the desert have adapted over eons to the relative harshness that's strong characteristics of these lands. Throughout history, we've passed down many stories of people wandering in the desert. Often they're about religious figures and ascended masters who have journeyed there and returned to their people with remarkable visions. The desert is an ideal place to seek a vision, or, more accurately, to allow a vision to come to you. The quiet and the peace of such an environment is conductive to the solitude required to have this type of profound experience. Spending time in this region without the usual accoutrements of the civilized world can present survival challenges, or at least seem to, and these could rightfully be called a spirit quest, where through steadiness in this seemingly bleak environment, it becomes possible to receive direct guidance from spirit internally and the world around you. Aquarius, a vision quest is a process whereby you spend a few days in the wilderness alone. Typically, you carry only water and some sacred items with you and you spend most of the time praying or meditating. Many who have completed a vision quest assert that it is a powerful and even life-changing experience, and report vivid and profound revelations. It is said that the desert does not lie, so partaking in this can help you discover the truth about your purpose, or at least give you some clues. It is time for you to go on a vision quest. Designate a place in nature in which to dwell, whether for a couple of hours or a few days. Spend the majority of your time there while praying and meditating. It is best to be in a location where you can truly find solitude, even if it is in a quiet corner of a park for an afternoon. Wherever you go, take your question, concern, or challenge with you into prayer or meditation. Allow it to float around in your consciousness and watch what shows up. This is one of the more powerful cards. By drawing it, whatever other message you may have received are amplified threefold. Thanks, you guys, Aquarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.